Hi, I'm Keith Fusco from Fusco Photography and I'm here with Rouge Deville and we're going to shoot some shit. We're going to do a quick shoot using the 41cm beauty dish from Photo Geeks. We're using the Godox AD360 to power it. When I'm in the studio shooting a fashion portrait or a beauty style headshot, I like to use the, the beauty dish for that. The Octobox gives off a nice soft light whereas the beauty dish is quite directional. The advantage of using the beauty dish over the Octobox is when you're shooting it gives shadows along the face so it gives definition so it's great for a, a fashion and beauty headshot. With it being quite a directional light, the best place to use it is above the subject pointing downwards and quite close as well because you get a significant drop off when you get it further back. What we're doing today, we're using the beauty dish and we're going to shoot it in a number of different scenes. We're going to use this grey wall behind us and we've also got a black wall but with the grey wall you can light it in two different ways so if you overexpose it the wall would end up white or you can use it as grey if it's correctly exposed and you can also turn it black if you underexpose it so it's quite good for that especially with the beauty dish and with it being direct light so the light doesn't spill on the background and with using the beauty dish it's better to have your subject looking up towards it because the light coming down so if they turn the opposite way you get quite a lot of shadows and not in focus so we've got everything set up for the first shoot so let's go shoot some shit if you do nine facial expressions, <laughs> and I'll put like a collage. Do you realise like Zoolander is my favourite film because yeah. for a certain reason like, I don't pull facial <laughs> well, expressions? That, well, that's what I thought. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's one. <No>. That's one. <laughs> <laughs> Two. <laughs> Wide open mouth. Five. Yeah, six, I think. Seven. How many is that? Eight, I think. Eight. There's one more. Like a shock horror one. We'll do. Jesus Christ, that was harder than I thought. <laughs> Yeah, things about spot on. So, let's show the difference. If you look over towards your left, and if you see on the picture, there's quite a lot of shadows there. And if you look up towards the light, a bit towards me, you see there's less shadows there, and it's much more flattering. <laughs> it's okay. Right, take another couple more. You see there's a nice soft light around the, the eyes and on the face. It's still giving a lot of shadows underneath. So we've headed on to the, the black background now to, to do the beauty dish. And the good thing about using the black wall as opposed to a black backdrop is when you're using it, it gives a, a nice hair light vignette around the back of it, like a, uh, a hair light. So we'll give that a try. So we'll do a quick test shot. Yeah, that's looking good. Just turn the light down a bit. Yeah. As you see, it's got the, the nice separation in the background and it's got the face lit up evenly. And again, if you look over to your left, just so I can show the difference with the shadows. On the left of the face there, there's got more shadows than looking at the light. There's that one, it's a lot better. So that's the end of the short shoot that we did with uh, Rouge de Ville using the beauty dish. The link's down below if you want to go buy one from Photo Geeks and hopefully you've got another couple of reviews and shoots coming soon. So thanks, bye.
went in studio shouting. Shouting? Shouting? <laughs> went, went shouting. Shout noises. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With it being quite a directional light, the best place to use it is there. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Shoot some shit. That's new catchphrase. That and then you have to have like the, the Jackass, Jackass theme. theme tune with a little blackout. <laughs>